Welcome back to the WHHI TV Daily News. With me now is Dr. Debbie Lyons, and I'm so excited to see you for our Mind the Health segment this I month. I know. This is so much fun. Oftentimes we sit and talk about lots of different things, but today we are going to talk about something that I think is ubiquitous and out there for everyone, and that is worry. What yes. is worry? Here's the... Look at Betsy's I, line. Please tell me. <laughs> Here's the scoop about worry that I think is really important. Our brains are wired to worry. Interesting. Every brain is wired to worry, and that's survival. Okay. Because in um, evolutionary times, when the cavemen were there, if you didn't worry and you just went out of your cave without paying attention, there was a good chance you would either be stepped on by uh, a dinosaur or eaten by a saber-toothed tiger. Right. Times have changed, but our, our brains are still going to do what they can to protect us. And that's really what worry is. And what's interesting about worry is that from worry comes stress. Right. Stress is sitting in front of a camera being interviewed. Stress is probably doing the news. It's something tangible. It's it's a thing. A test can cause stress. Sure. Uh, it's like an anticipation. Right. Which so, is often worse than the actual. A hundred percent. Yeah. So there's worry and then there's stress, which is a thing. And then there's anxiety. And anxiety is when worry and stress affect you physiologically. Okay. Okay. And if you've ever felt anxiety, it can be something as, ex again, this is a perfect example. It can be something as exciting as getting ready to start a newscast and you're taking a deep breath and you're kind of anchoring and grounding yourself and settling in so that you do the best you can do. Right. That's your body. Okay, preparing to keep you safe and protected and on point. Your daughter's a ballerina. Right. I was just going to say, as soon, you know, when she's going on stage, she gets that, you know, that good anxiety though, but it, ca it carries her through the performance. Mm -hmm. But then, it, but it can also be really damaging. Exactly. And I think that's the real key for most of us, Betsy, is how do we make stress our friend? How do right. we recognize that worry is natural? Okay. Yeah. Um, if it affects your sleep and you can't sleep because you're ruminating about worrying, that's, that's a frontal cortex thing. Okay. That is where your brain is um, going round and round and round right. with the same negative talk. Right. Um, my makeup doesn't look good. I'm not pretty enough. I'm not smart enough. I can't do this. That's almost a ruminating kind of worry. And what are the ways around that? We can breathe. We can ground ourselves. There are a lot of different skills and strategies that we can really do to help us manage our worries. And if it is a worry, uh, for example, that's a tangible thing, like I have this to do, I have this to do, I have this to do, and those are spinning. Mm -hmm. Is it helpful to like actually sit up, write those things down so we don't forget them and then try and leave them there? Here's why. Because again, we're worrying in here where anxiety and our stress is in here, but if we can take it out and put it in our thinking cap, so to speak, which means writing it down, it goes out and down, and now we can act on it. They're actionable items. Right. We're not thinking about it and, and ruminating so much. So really stress, anxiety, and worry are um, a neurobio they're neurobiological processes, and they're really interesting once you understand that they're not bad or good, they're just yeah. something to be managed. Yeah. I think that's very interesting, that you, you, they're not bad or good, or, and maybe even sometimes very useful. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I can't imagine doing a show or doing something like that and not really wanting to do the best. Of course. Right? Right. And so in order to do that, we have to get our um, endorphins moving a little right. bit, right? Exactly. A little adrenaline going. That's yeah. all anxiety. So again, it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a good thing. Can be a good thing. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much for being here. Your insights are always great. We really appreciate it. And we'll be back with lots more, so stay with us.